This is where the archers live. It's a typical American home. The people in it love their home, and they all happily pitch in, each doing his or her bit to keep it going. Here's Corliss doing her bit. Here's Mrs. Archer doing her bit. And now let's go to Mr. Archer and see how he's doing his bit. <laughs> well, he's doing his bit to keep the house nice and neat. Before he went to sleep, he took his shoes off. <laughs> I know just how you feel. I'm exhausted, too. Mm. Me, too. I'm beat. I played volleyball all afternoon. Picture of you, all of you. This is, if you'll pardon the expression, a very sneaky entrance carrying a camera. Why? It just so happens that I don't have a picture of my best friends. So I came over to take one. Oh, how sweet. And we've been promising to send a picture to Aunt Mary for such a long time. Yeah. Yes, it is nice of you, Bill. Yeah, you, you're a real pal. Put it there, pal. Well, I, yes, sir, I, you're number one in my book. <laughs> I'd like to take a picture. Oh, oh, sure. Uh, you bet. Get set. Hop to it, Pop. All right, well, get ready, everybody. Oh. Smile. Hold it, Bill, hold it. What's the matter? Well, maybe we should get fixed up a little bit first. No, no, I want you just as you are. But we're a man. Yeah, we all look sloppy. Why, that's realism, realism. I want to get you just as you are. Now, uh, j uh. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, no, Bill, Bill, wait a minute. Yo! Yo! Maybe you do. I'm sorry, Bill. I won't be able to take your picture. Well, don't worry. I'll take some pictures of us for you. You'll take some pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that, Ed? <laughs> I have a camera that my father gave me 30 years ago, and it'll take better pictures than that thing that you call it. <laughs> I'll get it. Modeling for Dexter's photographs may not be a rewarding task, but the work sure is clean. Yeah, yeah we found that anyway. Harry, even if you do find the camera, it's still 30 years old. Why don't you buy a new one? I don't care if it's 100 years old. I can still take better pictures with it than Bill can with that gill hickey of his. I'm going to find it if I have to take the attic apart. Stone by stone, brick by brick, slat by... <laughs> Maybe we'd better go to Swanson's studio. He's an excellent photographer and very inexpensive. And I do want a good picture to send to Aunt Mary. No, we're not going to Swanson's to take pictures. I can take them myself, and we can save the money. But Swanson takes such good pictures. After all, he's been taking them for 20 years. 20 years ago, Swanson knew nothing about photography. If he can learn, so can I. But we want to send a picture to Aunt Mary right away. We'll send it to her right away. And we'll send one to Bill, too, and I'll tell you. It'll be better than any picture he can take. Nothing there. 
Are you all right? No. Harry, don't you think we'd better... No! I'm going to find that camera. Uh. Daddy? Hmm? Old letters. Corliss, we're looking for a camera, remember? Mm, they smell nice. I'll bet they're love letters. Yeah, your mother. Oh. The letters she used to write me, it was always... Darling Harry. Sweetest Harry. Dearest Harry. <laughs> Dearest George. <laughs> George. Uh, well, maybe we better try and find that camera. Daddy, who was George? Oh, it was some fellow she knew, just a, a passing acquaintance, practically a stranger. George, darling, I miss you very much. I've been very lonely for you. So to pass the time away, I went to the show with another boy. I know you won't be jealous when I tell you it was only Harry Archer. <laughs> Love and kisses, Janet. Well, maybe if we look over on this side, we can find the camera. Daddy, it sounds like Mom really liked George. Mm, well, she thought she did, until I came along and then I took over. And from there on, I was the head man. Darling Mortimer. <laughs> Darling Mortimer? Mortimer? <laughs> Who was Mortimer? Mortimer, I... He didn't figure in the picture. It was just a fellow that your mother went out with, I think, once or twice. This last year of going out with you has been heaven. <laughs> and I miss you terribly. I sit home every night thinking of you. I'm not dating any other boy, only Harry Archer. And I know you couldn't possibly be jealous of him. <laughs> Love and kisses, Janet. Puppy love. Well, every young girl has a few flirtations until she meets Mr. Wright. And you are Mr. Wright. Right. Dearest Barney. <laughs> Last night, Harry Archer, the boy from next door, came over to tell me he was going away to college. He kissed me goodbye, and all I can say is, wow. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Barney. Your friend, Janet. <laughs> Here, Harry, you can dust yourself off a little. Boy, thank you, dear. That was very sweet of you. Oh, that's all right, dear. Well, that was very, very sweet. It's a good thing Mrs. Archer never mailed those letters. Because it looks like Mr. Archer is still quite a Romeo. Which goes to prove that you're never too old to feel as young as you wish you were before you got too old to feel too young to feel old. Mr. Archer, I thought you were going to stumble over That was way. very thoughtful of you, Dexter. Put the box back. You see, all I was trying Put to do was... Put the box it. back. <laughs> Dexter. 
listening. I never thought I'd say this. It wasn't your fault. Holy cow, what's that? That's my father's camera. They don't make them like that anymore. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> right. But I guarantee that this will take better pictures than that thing your father carries around, and just as good as Swanson does. Oh, Dexter, will you take this bulb and back up away from the front of the camera? I want to see how far away I can get and still take my own picture. I'll, I'll watch the focus. Uh-huh. Now, uh, a little further. A little more. Uh, just a little more. Ah, uh, that's fine. Now let me have the bulb. <laughs> Thank you. Jim. You're welcome, Mr. Archer. Harry, are you almost ready? Almost. We'll be down in a jiffy. All right. Dexter. Oh, why wouldn't it be a good idea for you to take the picture? It might willing heart and hands are at your calling back. All right. Now, you. When I tell you, press the bulb and set off the flash. You understand? Oh, sure. All I have to do is squeeze the bulb and light the flash. <laughs> Dexter, I said, when I tell you, remember? Gosh, I'm sorry, Mr. Archer. I... Now, put some more flash powder in the holder. Just put it, just flush to here. Well, here we are, all ready. Good. Hi, Dex. Hi, Corliss. How do I look? Oh, gosh. You look like the first day of spring. Like the dandelion's first dandy. You look like the whippoorwill's first whip. The crocus's first croak. <laughs> oh, Dexter. Will you please come here? I'll well, take your picture. I'm sorry, Daddy. Where do you want me to stand? Oh, right here, right beside me. All right, Dexter, don't forget what I told you. Don't shoot until I tell you. Oh, OK, Mr. Archer. Uh, I'm ready. All right, everyone. Smile. Shoot. to meet Corliss Archer. Yes, sir. Now, my name is Archer, Harry Archer. I brought some pictures in to be developed a few days ago. Archer? Yeah. I'll see if they're ready, sir. Oh. Not very clear, are they? Oh, they should be. They're taken with the new F-15 lens with the built-in range finder and light meter. Hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, you can keep all that fancy equipment. I've got me an old view camera. No range finder, no light meter, just good pictures. Oh, yes. Here we are, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you want to look at the rest of your pictures, sir? Yeah, sure, of course. They're all fine. How much do I owe you? Well, let's see. Two overexposed, two underexposed, and six blanks. You goofed, didn't you? <laughs> well, I'm not used to the camera. How much do I owe you? This one's on us, sir. 
<laughs> Hello, Harry. Hi, Bill. What you got there? Hmm? Oh, nothing. No, it says uh, pictures on the envelope. How'd they turn out? Swell. Swell. <laughs> They're all the same. Why don't you start laughing? I haven't got the heart. I'll come over tonight and take some pictures, Harry. Don't feel too bad about this. Thank you. And I'll take my own pictures. <laughs> Harry, what were you trying to prove? Was I? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Harry, I didn't know that you did that. <laughs> Harry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the... <laughs> <laughs> it's beginning to look like Mr. Archer just wasn't meant to be a photographer. All his pictures looked like the inside of a can of restless worms in a heavy fog on a dark night. Slightly colossal. The most. And you can bet I'll take the best pictures in town with all this. Uh, here, hold it. Hi, Dexter. Hi, Corliss. Gosh, you're beautiful. Such eyes. Such nose. Such ear. Such everything. <laughs> oh, Dexter. Mm. Just stand there. Just let me look at you. Every time I look at you, it's, it's like I was looking at you for the first time. Me too. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, something bit me. I can't imagine what could bite you. Well, I sure felt it. Well, I'm sure it was just your imagination. Well, if it's my imagination, it still hurts. I think you're just nervous from all these preparations, and... Ow! What's the matter, Mom? Something bit me. Hmm. My imagination has teeth. <laughs> I smell smoke. Mm, so do I. Let me tell you. Holy cow, look! Well, that does it. Dexter to the rescue. My hero. Oh, oh no, not again. <laughs> Mr. Archer better stop trying to take pictures or he isn't going to have any house left. For him, photography isn't a hobby. It's a modified form of arson. How's the film coming, Mr. Archer? Oh. This time, Dexter, I think we've got some beautiful pictures. Look. Ah. Look, don't touch. I don't want anything to happen after all we've been through. Holy cow, they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Boy! <laughs> you spoiled one of my pictures. 
Gosh, Mr. Archer, you never get mad. You're nice. <laughs> you know, I think that I'll strengthen this fixing bath. Will you get some, Dexter? It's on the back porch. Oh, sure, Mr. Archer. Glad to. It's in the great big bottle. You can't miss it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Swanson's never took a better picture than this. Oh, boy, would your father eat his heart out. Hmm. Hydroquinine. Quinine? That's for jungle fever. <laughs> Yeah, that must be it. I got it, Mr. Archer. Oh, good. Pour it in the sink. Okay. Is that enough? No, uh huh? Oh, these pictures are going to be beautiful. What detail. But I guess I'd better dip it in the fixing bath just once more to be on the safe side. Well, I guess that ought to be enough. Oh, now, isn't science wonderful? That stuff doesn't hurt film, but look what it does to material. <laughs> Dexter. Did I get the wrong bottle? Just the strongest acid there is in the world. <laughs> oh, good heavens, the film. The... turn out, or shouldn't I ask? Dexter poured acid in the sink. What sink? <laughs> when that sink sank out of sight, Mr. Archer was sunk. For a while he had swank, but now it'll take spunk not to slink like a skunk. No, I could have taken a good picture. All I needed was just one more try. It's no use arguing, Harry. Mr. Swanson is going to take our picture, and that's that. At least we'll finally get a picture to send Aunt Mary. Oh, come on, Harry. No, I'm not going in. Oh, Daddy. Well, if Bill ever heard of this, life wouldn't be worth living. Harry, we made the appointment. We're all dressed up. Mr. Swanson is waiting. Please. Oh, all right. I'm not going to go, and no one can make me. <laughs> Bill, what were you doing in there? Well, I was, uh, I was, uh, uh Mary, Mary wanted me to, uh, uh, my pictures turned out as bad as yours. Us. Aunt Mary got our pictures. How'd she like? 
She didn't. She didn't? Well, I'm afraid not. She sent you a camera so you can take your own pictures from now on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>